Hi, it's Dr. Scott with Revitalized Medical Group. Today I'm going to talk about soy. So there's a lot in the news and patients hear a lot about soy and people always ask, should I eat soy, should I not eat soy? Well, the first thing I want to address is a lot of people with thyroid uh, problems and who are on thyroid medication have been told that they shouldn't eat any soy and that it will interfere with that. Well, I actually took a, a, a course this weekend on the latest information in functional medicine and hormone balances, and the experts there said that that data has not panned out. There's never been a study that has shown that soy is actually harmful to thyroid patients. So I'm a thyroid patient. I do eat tofu, edamame here and there now and then, and so that it isn't necessarily harmful. The second thing people always ask me about soy and menopause. The first thing you have to realize is that Soy is also largely genetically modified in the United States. So if you actually get a good quality soy, it could be helpful. There's several ways it could be helpful. One is, is soy is a, a selective estrogen receptor modulator. And soy, soy helps bone health, it helps cardiovascular health, and actually in the latest study that was just looked at, it did not have any problems with breast cancer and appeared to improve breast cancer health. So because of its, its positive things about estrogen, not necessarily the negative things, um, soy did feel to be beneficial. In some of the studies, soy or red clover supplements did help hot flashes. So if you want to think of something natural you can do for hot flashes, soy is definitely an option. Um, the studies have shown that there's no long-term benefits in breast cancer patients for taking it. And again, what I would caution is that look at the type of soy that you're getting. Is it genetically modified or not? Now, we have all these population studies on people who are Asian who have a high amount of soy in their diet, and they don't necessarily have an increased risk of breast cancer, or they don't have the same disease processes that we have in the United States. So I think it's just the type of soy, not necessarily the amount of soy. So if you're someone who really likes tofu and you've been avoiding it, or maybe edamame, I think that it's probably safe to include that in your diet.